Sam. Hey. How you doing? Well, I would be better if we had some answers. Yeah, I could imagine. I wish I had better ones for you. Well, I'll take anything at this point. Anything at all. This way we can make some plans. We could do something. If it's any consolation, Rob and I are going to do everything we can in order to figure out what's going on with Jason. What if he has another seizure? Well, there's no saying that he won't. But it's better that he's in here and not out there doing whatever he does. Here, he's surrounded by professionals. I want you to, um... Watch the benign, make sure he doesn't get in over his head. Oh, okay. Still on the bakery. Nice and safe. Okay, and, and Carly. Well, you know, I'm always going to look out for Mrs. C. And while we're on the topic, how do you want to handle Mr. C? <sighs> well, you know, Sonny's been all over the place since when it took off. Mm. So we have to be prepared that somebody's going to try to take advantage of that, especially Anthony Zaccaro. So I need you guys to up the security at the warehouses, okay? All right. What about that other thing we got approached about? Play ball. All right. Look, Max, if, if something you know, happens to me, I'm not, I'm not able to... Not the professionals I was talking about. Yeah. Um, come on. Everybody out. We're, we're almost finished. Um, I think you're finished now. You're mad. Observant, yes. What happened to handling things so Jason can focus on getting better? What? What do you call that? That? I, I call that a meeting in a hospital room. I thought you were not supposed to involve him in any of that. Jason called the meeting. It wasn't me. What? What is going on? Don't. No, no, no. Don't you go there. I can see you spinning some stupid story, and, and you can't. You're the hands down the worst liar ever. Well, I wouldn't call me the worst liar. Not what you... happened? Jason's making arrangements. What kind of arrangements? Just in case. In, in case what? A mob war breaks out? Because this would probably be one of the worst times ever. He's clearly in the hospital. Sonny has issues. What are you doing? A preemptive Sam, strike this or something? Isn't what this is about. Then what is this about, Max? Jason wants to make sure things are covered. In case he doesn't make it. Sam, wait. Wait. So technically I am not family. Yet. But I would like to speak to my fiance alone. Do you remember when we helped Michael out with that project for algebra? Yeah, why would, why would you bring that up? Do you, really? Yeah, I mean, how could I forget the father of analytical geometry? Well, do you know why you can't forget? Because it scarred me for life? No, because we stayed up all night working on that presentation with Michael, drilling it into his head. You refused to let him give up. Do you, do you think I'm, I'm giving up right now? Really, Jason? Max just told me that you're making plans in case you don't pull through. What am I supposed to think? I can't. I can't pretend it's not a possibility. Yes, you can. I mean, I, I can, Jason. It's called the power of positive I, I, thinking. I know, but a lot of people depend on me, and I need to make sure they're okay. Sam, I need to make sure that you're going to be okay. Let's get something straight right now. Losing you is not, and will never, ever be okay. You're stuck with me for like the next 50 or 60 years, so <laughs> keep us to it. Okay. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Um, something productive and happy. How about uh, yeah, centerpieces? Okay. Yes. That's it. Exactly. Um, high or low? I mean, gosh, there's so many decisions to make. I know. Well, we have Chinese food. Yeah. We have no pink. None. I mean, what else do we need? You out of this hospital gown, for starters. That um, would be good. I'm working on that. Work a little harder. Please. Jason. Yeah. Don't do any business in here. Concentrate on... Getting better fees. I feel fine, Sam. <clears throat> you could have a seizure, you know that. Again. Please take it easy, please. <sighs> okay. Wow, that's good. <clears throat> and 
never even thought I would actually see your eyes closing. Low. What? Centerpiece is low. It's annoying when flowers block the view. Especially if it's a view. They're gonna figure this out. And when they do, everything's just gonna, it's gonna be... be it's gonna You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm okay. Well, should we get into it then? Um, yeah, I just, uh, well, I wanted to wait for one of Hi, I'm sorry. I was with the patient. Oh, it's good to hear uh, Robin was just about to get started. She found something interesting on Jason's pathology. Uh, something I was hoping you could help me with. Me? Yes. Do you remember Jason's original accident? Wait, what, what does that have to do with anything? It'll give us a better picture of what we're dealing with. Okay, but can you can you just tell us what's going on? We're getting there, I promise. AJ's car, it was, it was completely totaled, right? Oh, um, yes. In fact, it was hit so hard that the dashboard got cracked. But the airbag didn't go off because Jason was not wearing a seatbelt, right? Right. Okay, what was this about, Robin? Well, the non-organic matter that I told you I found, I think it's a piece of AJ's dashboard. S stuck in his brain? No, 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 that's impossible. He had a closed head injury. I well, know. Because of the impact, the particle could have went up Jason's nose through the ethmoid sinus and then further migrating into Jason's frontal lobe. Wait a minute, hold, hold on. If, the, if this thing has already been there and, and it did not show up on the scan before, why would he be seizing now? The only explanation I can come up with is that because of the recent accident that actually shifted the particle and now it's pressing on the nerve centers. I, I, I mean, I guess that's good news, right? You just you just well, take it out, everything's gonna be okay. It's it's not that easy. What? Nothing. Nothing. I was about to ask what you were thinking about, and I realized it was an idiotic question. What do you think I should do? Well, Jason, I think um, it's your decision and no one can make it but you. You and Monica did before. Yeah, that's, that's because you were that out, you know? I mean, it's a, it's a good thing that you can do this. What does your gut tell you? that I want to be your husband for as long as I can. Okay. Okay. All right. So, does that mean you're going to have the surgery? <laughs> <laughs> 